if you were told you were going to die and there was nothing doctors could do? What if your child had a disease with no cure? How far would you go? 150,000 Americans cross the border each year for experimental therapy. Therapy not offered here in the United States. I remember seeing the ground come up and then my head hit the ground. I realized at that moment that I couldn't feel anything. At that moment, Greg Minow was paralyzed. Doctors in the U.S. told Greg he'd never walk again, but giving up was not in this Army lieutenant's blood. I had to find something to fight for. I had to, I had to find something to, to live for. Searching the web, Greg found the International Spinal Cord Regeneration Center in Tijuana. He raised $65,000 and literally rolled himself across the border for stem cell therapy, therapy not offered here in America. The results? Greg has gained two inches of touch sensation in his abdomen and has deep pressure sensation in his hips and the top of his legs. But one of the leading stem cell researchers in the U.S. is skeptical. While I understand the desperation, patients would be well advised to wait until they can really have brand A and not just settle for brand X. But for little Lexi Smith, brand X is her only option. <laughs> This nine-year-old is full of energy. She loves to dance. But what you may not see is Lexi's blind. Her optic nerves aren't fully developed. I want to see mommy and I want to see fireworks. And Lexi's mom hopes an experimental stem cell transplant in China will give her that opportunity. Some American doctors have doubts about the therapy planned for this little girl in China. I think that no matter who you talk to in this country about the uh, blindness treatments in China, I think that they would, that, that, that they would give it the thumbs down. Lexi's therapy is set for June. It will cost $50,000 to get her there and get the procedure, an illegal treatment in the U.S. that her American doctors don't think is worth the risk. But for Lexi's mom, it's a risk worth taking. Hope is a major thing. When you haven't had hope for almost nine years and you finally get it, you really go with it. And they all hope this little girl will finally see the benefits. Let's see, stem cell therapy is at least 10 years away from approval here in the U.S., too late for Lexi. The earlier she gets the treatment, the better the chance that it will work. You can get more information on our website. Just go to newschannel5.com.